Hello, everybody. Welcome once again to the Bellini Puke Show. Welcome to the Bellini Puke Show. He eats dumb shit that he doesn't know where it's from. Any case, listen to the pack. I don't care, cause I'm sitting in the back puking in the trash can. Rob laughing. <laughs> laughing. <laughs> Bellini Puke Show. Welcome to the Bellini Puke Show. Alright, everybody. Get off your phone. Welcome to another episode of uh, Will Bellini Puke. Um, today we have my dad's choices. We've got a um, honey. Shout Creek. out to Mike Morris. <laughs> honey Creek Limburger cheese. Um, we've got Heinz Triacle Golden Syrup Sponge Pudding. It's microwavable. Then I guess as a palate cleanser we've got a Kadeen tea biscuit, tea biscuits, yeah. vanilla flavor. All right, so uh, I guess we'll start out with the Limburger cheese. <coughs> so if you've ever uh, smelled a rotten corpse. Pretty much how this smells. <coughs> even a whiff. Deep whiff. Oh, I didn't even touch it with my... Oh, it's gone. Alright, so, uh, you want to go first, or... You want me to go first? Alright. So I'm going to get a good chunk of this Limburger cheese. Let's just do half of that, right? It's in my nose right now, it's so good. Like. <coughs> okay, it smells really bad. The good news is, there's six servings and it's only about 90 calories per serving. <coughs> I'm just gonna eat, you got I'm just gonna eat the whole thing. This guy's ready to throw it at How am I gonna fucking hold it? Oh. That's culturized with human skin bacteria. Yeah, it's supposed so supposedly it's um the same type of bacteria that causes part of human body odor. So this shit. Looks really cool, man. So awesome. Let's just get a little uh can you just eat it? Oh, it smells so bad. Are we supposed to just eat it. Shut up. Just eat it. Hurry up. Ah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Mm. 
Why do you gotta wash your hands? It smells so bad. <laughs> I don't what if I don't want to eat it? See <laughs> ya. Oh my god. Just to let the viewers know out there, this guy has never failed a challenge at all. He just, he takes it down. I've thrown up everything and he almost threw this up. So I'm pretty sure, that for me. And I really don't want to eat this. I'm like really oh, like. Throw that fork in there. I'm really not looking forward to this right now. Can you get rid of it though so I don't smell it anymore? God. And there's a hair on it, dude. <laughs> Mommy comes with that. <laughs> I'm gonna throw this up for sure. Put the whole thing in your mouth and just start chewing it. Mm. You probably like it. Mm. Put the whole thing in your mouth. All right. This is for the viewers out there that said I wouldn't amount to nothing in life. Oh, thumb smell. Uh, How did your thumb smell? You didn't even touch it. I don't know. Eat it. Put the whole thing in your mouth. <laughs> Plug your nose. Put it in your mouth. Uh, just like coat your tongue, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. You can't taste anything but that. <laughs> you can puke it this. <laughs> Come on, swallow it. <laughs> swallow it. <laughs> do it, do it. I love balls of shit. I cannot do that. That is outside of my camera lady duties. <laughs> Next up, we have treacle, uh, sponge pudding, golden syrup, something. Oh. Okay, so this is supposed to be good. Uh, we heat it up in the microwave for a while. Oh, oh that smells hell good. <laughs> Good. Are you sure? Mm hmm Does you have to get the pudding stuff too? Yeah, get some of that too. Uh, let's see. It does smell a lot better than the cheese. That is that's actually good. Uh I just want to give a shout out to Mike Morris and Susie Morris for for giving us this great Limburger she used to eat. 
We should have saved it for him. We should have got some crackers. That it, honestly, that was a legitimate throw up. <laughs> I <know>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gee, it's hella good. I'm on it. This is the only the second thing that I haven't thrown up in a while. <laughs> what with the marshmallow thing? Yeah. I can I can chew this now. You should throw that plate away too. <laughs> I would. I would not eat off that plate. <laughs> like I will mark that plate. <laughs> if there's some cheese on Limburger cheese on that shit, I will not touch it. That is nasty as shit. What do you put Limburger cheese on? <laughs> I don't know. I threw that across the street in the neighbor's bushes. <laughs> <laughs> the neighbors probably pick that shit up tomorrow and just fucking. <laughs> This is good. This is good. I, I would eat this all day. Compared to his Limburger cheese? Yeah. Try it. I'm good. Oh, man. Alright. Whew. The next thing we already kind of ate was, um... Here we have one, huh? Kadima tea biscuits. And you know what? These are really good, too. I'm not gonna lie. I'll eat some of this with this chiriakul. Oh my god. So. Who eats cheese like that? I remember. Oh, that's so bad. I went to my grandma's wake. I'm still thinking wake. about it. I went to my grandma's wake and they had some, <coughs> some nasty cheese. That made me want to vomit. That yeah. was gross. But. Limburger cheese, I would say that's the worst thing I've eaten on this thing so far. And. I will give that a zero. I'll give that a negative. I, I would give that limber that yeah that's, that this is the nasty. That's thing. a negative. That's so gross. That it, because it's kind of crunchy too. It has a little crunch on the outside. I would yeah definitely when you smell it it definitely smells like armpit. No, that doesn't. It smells like you're up in LeBron James's armpit after he he beat the Celtics in Game Seven. You know it definitely smells like that and. But, at the same time, you're eating it, and there's a little crunchiness on the outside, but you don't know what that crunchiness is, because it's like a, a bacteria type of crunchiness. Yeah. I still smell it, dude. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's in my mouth or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so bad. How is it even on your finger? Is it going through our body? <laughs> oh. But, uh, so, okay, Limburger cheese... Out of, out of a 10, I would give it a negative ten. 7. I have a negative 10. Eat them on a negative 10. And then uh, I would go with this. Because it coats your tongue, and it's just like, it coats your tongue in your cheeks, and it. I, it's still in there. I didn't even touch it that much, and it's all over me. It's still in there. I can't it's, get rid of it. It's really bad. The whole kitchen smells. The whole house smells. I went outside and it came back in. <laughs> it smells like And it's it. still smells. It's only covered in foil. That's freaking disgusting. And, but the thing was, it's it's deceiving, is that it's covered in foil. Yeah. And when you bring it up to your nose, when it's covered in foil, you can't smell it. Huh. You know, she didn't smell it. You didn't smell it. I didn't smell it. But then as soon as you open it, that just that sense of... So pungent. It's It's very bad. And so, like right now I feel like I smell. Yeah, it's because it, you can. I can feel it. Like, uh, I got. I lost some nostril hairs today. But definitely, uh, if if you're looking for a good time and you want to have your friends throw up, get that Limburg cheese. I don't know where you can get it at. You know, uh, the little cake thing. What is this called? Uh, triacle or something. Triacle. That's good. Well, I mean, it might be bad. We don't know because we I, ate the I mean, the cheese before it. Well, true, but I mean, anything tastes better than that. But I'd give this um, I give it a, I give it a six out of ten. Well, let's say about a six. And then the biscuits, just you know, they're biscuits, whatever. Who's your biscuit? No, my, yeah, yeah, dude, my hand really smells. Like I didn't even touch it. No, right. Hand. These, the, I mean, these smell good. You know, we've got. Any Some protein, protein in them, yeah, you know, 0.5 grams for two. Mm -hmm. Not really, but um, these are good. These are from Israel. I'm saying this show uh, definitely. Well, six out of ten. Limburger is negative, like twenty out of 10. Definitely, I think the the you know one of the, the our our next shows like our season finale, Limburg cheese with snail and 
the pigskin. Oh, thank you. Well, next episode, I think, is going to be pig's feet. I'm down. All right, viewers, this is a uh, Mike and Rob show, Extreme Eats. No, it's not. It's a Make Believe Puke Show. Yeah, it's, it's called Extreme Eats. It's called Make Believe Puke Show. Um, we'll see you next time.